Yeah, good day, yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> Alright, this morning, I got the hat on. Because it's going to be hot today. It was hot yesterday, boy. 32 here in Timaru yesterday. Bloody hot, eh? Hey, listen, you like my, like my shirt? Pink one, eh? Bright pink one. I like bright colours. You know why? Because i got a bit of Maori blood in me, eh? Oh, yeah. My grandfather and that, he, he come from Taihapi, <laughs> and, and, and he, mar he, he, he married the Ma I think he, he didn't marry a Maori, but I think he might have slept with one or two of them. Because <laughs> I went down to Taihapi and there's a lot of bishops there and they're all black. <laughs> yeah, I'll show, I'll show you a photo of him just a minute. Yeah, that's him there. Edward Bishop. He married this girl called... Um, Margaret Vesey, she's a Scotch lady, she was Scotch, she come from uh, Timaru, she was born in Geraldine, and she must have went up to North Island, or he come down to South Island and he married her, and this old bugger here, Edward Bishop, which is my great-grandfather, oh no, he's my great, no, my direct grandfather, that's right, he, he, he married her, eh, but he was 52 when he married her, <laughs> so I reckon he must have been sleeping around with a few of the Maoris before that, eh. Funny story, eh? Yeah, never mind. He's dead now, eh? I can't ask him. We don't know what he did, eh? He's dead now. But listen, I, I, I said I said this personal grievances. I'm on about personal grievances. Listen, marry all blacks. No such bloody thing. Fancy having marry all blacks. <laughs> That's a part aid, isn't it? Eh? Having races? Could have park out all blacks? God, they stupid. English All Blacks, French All Blacks, I'm French, i got French in me, Scottish, yeah, French and Scottish. Maori All Blacks, and Maori political parties, God a bloody body, you wouldn't believe. Fancy going into Parliament, eh, and, and just sucking on the tit, sucking on the back tit, that's all they're doing. They don't want to work, these bloody Maoris, I know, I brought up with the buggers. <laughs> I got Mary in me, I know what I'm like myself, you know what I'm saying? When I was a young fella, I didn't want to bloody work. No. But I had to, hey, I had to learn to work. And listen, I'll tell you what, another thing pisses me off. Yeah, another thing really pisses me off is personal grievance claims by employers, employees against employers. You see, you can't sack anyone in Timber in New Zealand. You're not allowed to sack people. I went into business. I got sacked. I've been sacked twice in my life. I got the sack once when I had a mental breakdown. I worked for this company um, called Broadlands Finance and I had a mental breakdown and, 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 and they sacked me because my brain went all wonky, you know what I'm saying? And so they sacked me. And then I got another job with another another. Debt collecting. I was a bloody good debt collector. And and I got a job debt collecting. And and after a few years, they made, didn't make any money. So they sacked me. And I got sacked again. And I went into business. Right? I, I, I saved up a few dollars. Right? Uh, now listen, uh, this is a true story. I saved up all my... Because my old man died and he left me some money. And mum left me some money. And I put it in the way, eh? Hey, because when I got old. And... And, and, I, and I employed this woman to come and work for me, and she was dishonest. She pinched all my stuff, and I had to sack her. I sacked her, and God, you wouldn't believe it. I was five years before I could get back to work again. Crook, I got crook with stress and worry. I, I prostrate cancer. And then I got bipolar disorder, and my bloody brain went all highs and lows. And then I got bloody Alzheimer's disease. They x-rayed my brain, I said I got Alzheimer's disease. I was crook. Oh, jeez, I was crook. Because I, I, I was trying to defend myself, because I sacked a woman and she took a personal grievance claim. I had to pay her $35,000. I, I didn't pay her, I paid a bloody crooked lawyer's. She had crooked lawyers and crooked judges and all stuff like that, all one-sided, you know. The whole thing was one-sided. 
Oh, God. Good morning, folks. Ron Bishop here from Trimmer in New Zealand. Who was that grumpy old bugger? Who was he? Was he a Maori? God, he had an old shirt on and a bright pink shirt and an old hat. Mind you, there's a bit of sense in what he has to say, isn't it? Eh? He was he was talking about a sense all the same. <laughs> yeah, those Maoris, they're getting they're getting away with too much, aren't they? Yeah, they're they they're, they're bleeding us dry, aren't they? Eh? Apartheid, that you know, for Winston Peters, he's cottoned on to them. Yeah, he's he's going to get into Parliament this year, this this Winston Peters, because he, he what he's saying is what everyone else is saying. Okay, and what I'm saying too, I I agree with it, old Mary fella you just seen on the telly, uh, on the video here. He, he, what he's saying is right. It's all bullshit. <laughs> yeah, he can't sack people. Mary's a bloody old fly, Treaty of Waitangi. What a lot of old rubbish. Personal grievances. Did I tell you that the other day they served a trespass notice on me? Defame my character, they did, because you only serve trespass notices on people who are dishonest, they're, they're thieves, or, or, or they're, they harass other people, and I never harassed anybody, and I'm as honest as they come, and they served a bloody trespass notice on me. A lawyer said, a lawyer firm, RSM Law. Yeah, bloody terrible. But listen, I can't grizzle. you got to stop grizzling. And the Maoris have to stop grizzling about what happened to them years ago. I know my great-great-grandfather, he was the judge of the land court, Maori land court, and he used to confiscate the land from the Maoris because they never paid any rates. They just sat on the land with wooden rubbish and all fern and gorse and never farmed the land, and, and my great-great-grandfather went around confiscating the land because they never paid any rates. And never did any development of it. We had to develop New Zealand. We couldn't leave it to the Maoris. We'd never bloody have any green grass. Never have any milk and sheep and cows and all that. No. They were lazy buggers, you know. But they're all different today, aren't they? Because there's no purebred Maoris left. They're all dead. <laughs> all those old Maoris. They're all dead now. And we've got a, a mixture. We've got a, a bit of everything in us. And... Um, they're pretty good. Most most of them are pretty good. There's the odd one that just just, just still got too much Maori in them, too lazy, and, and don't want to work. But all in all, it's pretty good, you know. And I'm pretty excited. We're just going to tidy up a few loose ends and get them sorted. We're going to have a new Prime Minister. I told you that, didn't I? <clears throat> this fellow, um, what's his name? Uh, Bill Cunliffe's son, David Cunliffe. He's going to be the next prime minister. I'm going to get him in there because I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to join the Labor Party, and, and I'm going to get in there. I'm going to promote him. I don't know who's standing for in our, our area yet, but I'll find out and I'll I'll promote them and I'll get them in because we need a new prime minister. He's bloody hopeless. The one we've got there at the moment won't even talk to me. I've tried several times to talk to him. Sent him heaps of emails, but he doesn't answer his emails. No waste of time. I thought he was pretty good. I voted for him last time, but nah. He's just a bum licker. He's just a bum licker. He lets the, the Maoris lick his bum. <laughs> That's all he is. Just just a bum licker. Righto. Listen. I'll get into trouble, won't I? <gasps> oh, pardon me. I must get that fixed. Um, yeah, well, that's my story this morning. Uh, I'll put this up now and have a look at it. I hope you enjoy it. And keep watching my videos. Good stuff coming on, isn't it? I did some good work yesterday, didn't I? I had a McKeeky and that. Bloody good. Have a look at those videos. I know how to promote New Zealand. <laughs> I love you all. And good luck to you, you Maoris. But by Jesus, behave yourself. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on you. I'm on your case, okay? Bye-bye.